Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Dear students, welcome once again in Pakistan International School Taib, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Virtual Learning System Session 2020. This is English for Grade 7. Uh, the name of the book is Guided English. Today is lecture number 7. Lesson number 2, Kidnap. All exercises continue. Actually, we have done uh, in the last week, or Thursday, we have done uh, Kidnap uh, reading, explanation, and comprehension and vocabulary, exercise A and B. And now we will go ahead with uh, language structure and the remaining exercises. I'm your teacher, uh, Sir Adnan Sabir Mirza. So welcome again, welcome to Ramzan. Welcome to you. And uh, let's pray to Allah Almighty to help us in this uh, blessed month and uh, take away this disease from us. The danger of the disease and the disease itself. Uh, he can do whatever he wishes. So now let's uh, begin. Uh, <clears throat> language structure, page number nine. That is more about nouns. Nouns are the names of things, <clears throat> places, and uh, all this, you know, the proper definition. Some nouns are said to be common nouns, boy, town, school, and they are spelled with uh, small letters. But when we are thinking of one special thing or person, we spell it with capital letters. Hamacha, the Jina Girls High School, the Jina Girls High School, Kirachi. These are called proper nouns. So this is this is a actually uh, distinction uh, between a common noun and a proper noun. You have studied in your bridal grammar. Uh, exercise A. Which of these nouns should begin with capital letters? Book, prayer, island, money, Hyderabad, September, hat, Zubeda, teacher. Mr. Ali, motor car, Asia, Wednesday, Mount Everest, and so <coughs> Here are the answers. The following words should be capitalized. So proper nouns are always uh, written in capital letters. Uh, uh, the first letter, at least, should be written in the capital letters. Like a prayer island. Uh, Hyderabad, September, Zubaydah, Mr. Ali, Asia, Wednesday, Mount Everest. Exercise B. When a noun stands for a group of things, it is called collective noun. Add suitable collective noun to these phrases. Number one, a dash of ballers, a dash of cattle, a dash of verbs, a dash of people in the market place. Number five, a dash of flowers, grapple, uh, grapes or bananas, a uh, dash of lies, and dash of at a concert, a uh, dash of ships. A dash of playing cards. Now the answers are like uh, number one, match with number one. A team of footballers or a squad of footballers. Number two, a herd of cattle, a drove of cattle, drift of cattle, or mob of cattle. You can use all of these one by one, but you, you have to use any one. Number three, a 
pack of wolves, like uh, in Jungle Book, there was pack of wolves, root of wolf, or route of wolf, or herd of wolf. Number four, a lot of people, a crowd of people, or multitude of people, stream of people, or mob of people. Number five, a flight of stairs, a set of stairs. Six, a bunch of flowers, special collective for these are the bouquet of flowers. A bouquet of flowers, cluster of grapes, cluster of uh, grapes, uh, hand of bananas. Number seven, uh, a pack of lies, a tissue of lies, a web of lies. Number eight, an audience at a concert or an orchestra at a concert. Concert is a musical program. Number nine, a dash of ships, a fleet of ships, a flotilla of ships or armada of ships. These are the alternate words. Number 10, a dash of playing cards, a deck of playing cards or pack of playing cards or hand of playing cards. Next is exercise C. I want to take it in one view. Okay, no problem. Exercise C. Nouns like beauty, fear, joy, health, player are said to be abstract nouns. Give the abstract noun from uh, form from these words: sad, hate, mix, friend, poor, no. Stupid, ignore, deep, high, clean, patient, young, wealthy, strong, believe, suspicious. You can see page number nine. Okay. First, you will write the, uh, the questions of all exercises, then write the answers. Now it is solved. Answer the word in parentheses are less commonly used. Parentheses are called the brackets. <clears throat> Sad sadness. Sadness. Hate. Hate is a verb and hate is also a noun. And hatred is a hate, hate or hatred are the nouns. Mix. Mixture. It is also a verb and noun. V for verb and N for noun. And when we uh, abbreviate anything, we put a dot. You can see the, it is written n dot, v dot, v for verb and for noun. Actually, we are writing here on the right side, we are writing uh, the abstract noun. Now I will read quickly. Friend, friendship, poor poverty or poorness. Poverty is more good, but poorness is often used. Uh, I said, uh, have mentioned that words in brackets are less used. 
no knowledge stupid stupidity ignore ignorance deep depth or deepness we don't use it to, but we can use it that is not wrong but depth is more uh, popular high height clean cleanliness uh, cleanness or cleanliness patient that is adjective with patience like a uh, uh, cool minded patient 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 one is the patient who who is uh, in the hospital that is another patient that is not adjective young youth wealthy wealth or wealthiness strong strength believe belief suspicious suspicion next is exercise 4 <clears throat> give the feminine form of these nouns these are written actor master headmaster dog tiger bridegroom host lord so they are written against uh, the feminine forms are written like actor and the, uh, the female form is actress actor can refer to both male or female but uh, so uh, actress is uh, more proper but we can use actor for both master mistress had master had mistress dog bitch tiger tigress bridegroom bride host hostess loin loiness now this was on page 10 exercise d now punctuation 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 page 10 student where would you put apostrophe this is in the bracket if you see it i will make it larger for you now you see this is a comma but it is at the top side not at the bottom side that is called the apostrophe here here you can see okay <clears throat> the person where my sisters had the old man sick the girls cold the had master's speech the children's faces the women's voices the two cats trails the ship engines engine so now you see the apostrophes apostrophes are put very properly my sisters had sisters it is singular and uh, here it is at the top it means that the hat of my sister the apostrophe uh, denotes the possession or the belonging of someone number 2 the old man's stick the girls school the girls school now you see this is the girls girls mean more girl more than one girl girls the apostrophe is at the end the headmaster's speech headmaster is a singular so after r there is apostrophe and then s the children's faces children is already a plural of child children faces the women's voices the two cats tails now you see cats it's a plural cats is a plural and apostrophe is that then the ship's engine next is spelling most nouns form their plural more than one by adding s books cats rats tips blocks 
in all these words a sound s is uh, is s but remember that many cases in many cases sound is z roads days flags hills teams doors knives donkeys now you see the sound the, the ending sound is z and uh, in uh, some there is s books but we have s also now what next some down time the sound is is horse these horses judges churches noses lashes now we have to be familiar with the sound to familiarize ourselves with the pronunciation english language needs some uh, hard work also and attention but some nouns have different spelling in the plural read spelling rule number 1 at the end of the book there is the, there are rules at the end of the book then give the plural of these words desk mouse wife child knife boot toy donkey sheep try atlas volcano tooth foot piano daughter in law gas scissors towel turn to page <clears throat> Page one seventy five and read the rule number one. Uh, re uh, read spelling rule number one. Now we'll read the what is the rule at page seventy eight. If you have the book, they are given at the end. Now see. Uh, 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 the words are like desk, plural desks. That is rule number one. Desks, but mouse, mice, wife, wives, children, child, children. That, that is not the. Uh, you see, rule one. Uh, Uh, that is rule one a and that is rule one e. Knife knives, roof roofs, toy toys, donkey donkeys, sheep sheeps, fly flies, atlas atlases. Now here you see there are variety of rule uh, or uh, number one a b. C, D, E, and F. Uh, toy, toys, donkey, donkey, sheep, sheep, fly, flies, atlas, atlases, volcano, volcanoes, tooth, teeth, piano, pianos, daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law, gas, gases, scissors. Scissors, trousers, trousers. Now we have rule one A to G. The last exercise is useful words and phrases. Head up or down. They climbed, dashed the hill, and ran dashed the other side. Number two. As he was doing the stair to his bedroom, he slipped and fell right to the bottom. These are fourteen questions, and the uh, you have to put up and down. I have. Uh, done this for you. You can do from here. Like number one, 
the first one is up and the second the first one is down they climbed up uh, the hill and ran down the other side okay uh, i will make it small for you now we can see it little bit more small yes 120 is enough okay here you can see number two and, and number two up and down number three down and up number four down and up number five down and up number six up and down number seven up there is only one in uh, seven, eight up down, nine up down, 10 up down, 11 up down, 12 up, 13 up down, and 14 up. Now, students, this is very easy. This is at page number 11 if you have the book. And here is the answer key for in front of you. So, this is all about lesson number two. So I hope you don't have any problem in it. So finish all your uh, exercises uh, in your notebooks, and your you you should show first of all your to your parents that they are complete in all aspects. I have done all for you, and uh, it's good for you to show me that you have done it. But the more important uh, for you is to do and listen the lecture as many times as you like if you don't understand anything you can use dictionary you can do, uh, uh, um, you can even ask me no problem but don't try to uh, just asking uh, to make uh, the presence uh, we want you to keep on working okay and best of luck see you in the next class thank you assalamualaikum